Hi, welcome to BID, the most powerful document collaboration platform. In this video, we're going to teach you how to invite and work with your guests outside of your organization. BID has been built for teams and organizations of various sizes to collaborate and work together. In addition to being able to collaborate with your team, BID allows you to invite clients, contractors, vendors, or partners. You have the choice, depending on the depth of your relationship, to invite them into your BID organization as a member or as a guest. The biggest difference between members and guests are the following. Members can create workspaces. Members can create documents. Members can have full access permissions, edit-only permissions, comment-only, and read-only permissions. Guests, on the other hand, can't create workspaces, they can't create documents, and have comment-only and read-only permissions. First, let's walk through how you can invite guests. As you likely know by now, BIT's platform starts with workspaces. Workspaces can be created around teams, big projects, or clients. For this example, let's create a client portal. The first thing you'll notice is on the top right corner that I'm the only person in this workspace. Workspaces are private and are only visible to you unless you add collaborators. If you're an admin or manager, click on the plus icon and a pop-up will display. Here you can search for other team members who are part of your organization. Let's go ahead and add one more team member. Next you want to assign a permission level. Here you can see that you can choose from full access, edit-only access, comment-only access, and read-only access. Once you're done, click Add. An email and in-app notification will be delivered, letting them know that they've been added. You can also see that on the same pop-up, you can add guests to join your workspace. If you're on the business plan, you'll be able to bring in guests for free into your bid organization. You can search through the existing guests you already have invited and add them to an additional workspace. You can choose between comment-only or read-only access. If you're an admin or manager, you can also click the Invite button to invite new guests to your workspace. Make sure that there's always at least one workspace that your guests have been invited to. By default, your guests will be given read-only access. After you invited your guest, they'll receive an email notification. They'll need to click Join Organization and they'll be taken to your company's custom login page. There they'll see your company's logo and company's name on top. There they'll need to enter their name, password, and add an optional job title and job department to get started. Once they're logged in, you'll receive an email letting you know that they've joined. At this time, you can edit their permissions from read-only to comment-only. Your guests will come to their dashboard that will show recent documents that they've opened, workspaces they have access to, and help tips. When they open up the workspace, they'll be able to view the documents shared with them. You can see that the only tab they have access to is the Documents tab, where they can view folders, documents, and pinned items. They can also see the members of the workspace. Let's walk through what guests with comment-only access experience first. Comment-only guests can read the document and interact with the document. They can use the table of contents, they can favorite documents, they can search across all workspaces, folders, document titles, and content inside of the documents. They can receive notifications and comments. They can click on the comment thread and start a new thread. They can also respond back to comments by at mentioning anyone in the workspace. They can also edit and delete their comments. Read-only guests can do everything comment-only guests can do, except respond back to comments. They can be at mentioned in a comment, they can receive notifications, and they can read those comments, but they don't have access to add new comments. You can see that guests don't have access to share or export documents. 
If that's something that's important to you, we have one quick tip. You can export your document as a PDF and upload a copy at the bottom of your Bit document. If your client needs a copy, they can choose to download it. And that's it. Guests are really that easy. Share this video with your colleagues and start inviting your guests to access important knowledge, reports, projects, and more. Have fun bringing your team and clients into the future with BitDocs. To learn more about Bit, go to our Bit Academy. Bit.ai, the world's most powerful document collaboration platform.